This is Autogrog, beta version 666. Because it's one hell of an upgrade. You wanted Autogrog to be able to insert skills into your autogen agents, and now it can. There's no configuration required, no code to write. Just drop a valid Python code file into the Autogrog scripts folder. That's all there is to it. Okay, you were right. AI voices can get annoying. So, instead of talking, why don't I demonstrate how Autogrok can create several tailor-made AI agents and their skills and workflow in under 30 seconds? <laughs> under 20 seconds. Not bad. Actually, we were done the second we hit the enter key. In reality, it took me under 10 seconds to make these eight AI agents and their workflow file. And that's just scratching the surface. Autogrok comes with this skills folder and one default fetch web content skill. You'll find it as an option in Autogrok when we edit one of our agents. It's a simple skill file, but fine for our demonstration. Let's fire up Autogrok so you can see what I'm talking about. You don't have to be a professional prompt engineer to use Autogrok. The program re-engineers and refactors your request for you. We do something similar for you with agent descriptions. In short, if Autogrok can improve your code for you, it will. To test your agents, you simply click on them. The agents will consider the request, the ensuing discussion, and any additional remarks entered by you into the additional input field, and then they'll reply. Our project manager has had a lot to contribute and the actions of the rest of the team will be influenced by our manager's remarks. For now, let's examine the properties and skills of our project manager by clicking their gear icon seen here. The description shown is the original text generated by Otto Grok when the first request was entered. But as I mentioned, we can refactor this description by clicking the reroll button. Notice the checkbox below the description. This is how we enable the skill we put in the skills folder earlier. By simply checking the box and hitting save, we've added the skill to our agent definition file for their export to Autogen. And there it is. And there's all the code you wrote by checking that box. You're amazing. Let's also take a peek at the J's on file for our project manager. So you can see that they too have had all their code auto magically created for their new skill. Oh boy. Finally, importing your newly generated skill into Autogen is a piece of cake too. I mean, you click on upload a skill and then you, well, you upload a skill. Likewise, to upload a workflow, you, you know, upload a workflow. I should probably work on making this stuff sound more technical, but using Autogrok with Autogen Studio really is this easy. Your workflow is going to have all your agents imported and configured for you. Adding a skill to Autogen via Autogrok couldn't be easier. Just drop a skill Python file into Autogrok's skills folder and that's that. GitHub user MadTank has a few great skill files. Drop them a star if you borrow their code. I'll steal fetch post for our demonstration. Again, all we have to do is put the py file in our Autogrok skills folder.
And there it is. Let's fire up Auto Grok again to see our new skill file option. And there you have it. Our new skill has been added to Auto Grok, and just by checking the box and clicking Save, we can export this new skill to AutoGen. Let's take a peek at all the JSON script that's been written for you. This shows us how much typing we don't have to do, thanks to Auto Grok. So, that's this week's update. Next week's focus is more automation and by popular demand, local LLM capability. Auto Grok is free and open source. All we ask is that you like and subscribe and share these videos. A star on GitHub would be great too. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll talk to you in the comments section. Rock, auto grunt.